Hi, it's Concept Soup. Welcome back to the channel. This one's going to be informative. We're going to show you how to use DDU, which stands for Display Driver Uninstaller, to uninstall the graphics card driver. So we're doing a clean uninstall and then a clean install of the graphics card driver. Basically, all the guides out there take a little bit too long to get to the point and they're not very clear. I'm going to try and make this as clear and as quick as possible for you. So let's start with why might you want to do a clean uninstall of your video card driver. So you might be having some graphics weirdness. That's one of the reasons. So if your games aren't performing very well or you're getting weird glitches or something, this would be the first thing that you want to try is reinstalling your graphics card driver. The other reason is you might be upgrading your graphics card and in that case you want to do a clean uninstall of the graphics driver and then install the uh, the fresh graphics driver on top. So those are your two reasons. So how do you do it? We've got a bit of prep work to do first and then we'll get into it. So we're going to transition over to our capture card and I'll see you there. And just before we transition, I should say that this video is in conjunction with jcpccustoms.com uh, where you can pick up your next gaming PC, whether that is a custom spec built to order or something off the shelf, we can sort you out at jcpccustoms.com. That's the plug over straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is head to Google, type in DDU, and then the result at the top here will be display driver uninstall. It should be the Guru 3D website. And then just go to the bottom of the page and just download it from one of the mirrors here. It doesn't really matter, just depending on your location, but just click any of them and then wait for that to download. So that's our first download done. So now we need to know uh, which driver we want to download to install after we've uninstalled it. So if you're going to be having an NVIDIA graphics card, then you want to get the NVIDIA driver. NVIDIA graphics cards have GT, GTX or RTX in the name. So that might be something like an RTX 2060. Um, if you've got a Radeon card, that will have an R7, R9 or RX at the start of the name. So something like an RX 5700 XT would be a Radeon card. So once you know which one of those that you want, you can download the correct driver. So let's start with NVIDIA. Um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you want to search for NVIDIA drivers on Google. Go to the one that says NVIDIA.com. And then from there, you can put in the correct details to find the correct graphics driver. You want the latest game ready driver and then download that. If you have a Radeon uh, graphics card, it's pretty much the same. You just go to Google, type in Radeon drivers, go to the link on the page there follow through to find the correct graphics card that you have and download the latest driver from there and wait for that to download. So now that those two are both downloaded, what you need to do is extract the um, zip folder, which is what you got from Guru 3D for DDU. Just right click, extract all and extract it. That's done and it will leave you with a folder in your downloads folder. So what I suggest you do is that unzipped folder, just drag that to the desktop and pop it on the desktop and then also click and drag your driver onto the desktop. I've got the Radeon and the Nvidia ones here just to show you but of course you only need the one that applies to you. And now comes a crucial step that a lot of people don't do but this is the proper way to do it. Go to the search bar in the bottom left, type in network connections and go to the result there. And then all of your network adapters, so that might be Ethernet, Wi-Fi, right click on each of them and click disable. If you use a Bluetooth keyboard, don't disable your Bluetooth because you won't be able to use your keyboard and mouse, okay? But all your network ones, disable them so that you can't connect to the internet until this is finished. This is key. Once you've done that, go to the start button in the bottom left, just click on that, click on the little power icon. And now when you just hold the shift key on your keyboard and then click restart and it will say, please wait. You can let go of the shift key. Wait for this to present you with a few options. What you want to do is go to troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then click restart. When your PC restarts, you'll be given a few options. Just press the number four on your keyboard and you will boot into safe mode. So this will present you in safe mode here, which is a good way to remove your drivers properly. Now on your desktop, you'll have your DDU folder. So open that folder up straight away. So open the DDU folder. You need to open the DDU application and click run and then extract that folder. Yes, it's another extraction, annoying, isn't it? And then that'll give you the DDU folder. 
open up that DDU folder and then open the display driver uninstaller there. And you, this will give you the first time sort of welcome, press OK. And then on the screen, just tick the same boxes that I'm ticking. Um, if you're um, uninstalling a Radeon graphics card, just be aware that you might need to download the chipset software for your motherboard afterwards as well, as this will also clear that. So now what we want to do is go to select device type, choose GPU, and then whichever card you currently have in your system, you want to select that. So if you had a Radeon card, you choose AMD. If you have an NVIDIA card, you choose NVIDIA. Now you have a couple of options here, depending on whether you're installing a new graphics card or just doing a clean reinstall of the same graphics card, okay? So if you've got the same graphics card and you're just doing a clean reinstall, you want to use the clean and restart option. If you're um, doing a clean uninstall, then changing the video card to another one, you want to do clean and shut down. So once you've decided which one you need to do, go ahead and press the button and wait. It does take about three minutes normally, so just sit tight and wait for your PC to either shut down or restart. Once that's done its thing, it will either restart or shut down, depending on what you chose. So if you chose shut down to put a new graphics card in, then obviously change your graphics card over and boot the PC back up. But if you click clean and restart, you'll just boot straight back into Windows just normally as you did before. So now that you're back on your regular desktop, you want to install your graphics card driver. So this could be either the Radeon or the Nvidia, depending on which graphics card you've got. We're going to show you Nvidia here, but it's pretty much the same for both. So open up the file on your desktop and wait for it all to extract. Then the wizard will appear and you just want to go through. So driver and GeForce experience, go to custom for the next one and then check the box that says clean installation and then click next. Um, and the install process, this will take about five minutes, so just relax, let it do its thing, and uh, we'll come back once it's done. Now that that's done, I like to uncheck the launch NVIDIA GeForce Experience box, but I do like to leave a desktop shortcut, but you can uncheck that if you want as well. Now, as soon as that's finished, what we need to do is restart the PC, even if it doesn't ask you to. Every time you install a driver, you should restart the PC, so go ahead and do that. Now, once your PC has restarted, you're going to need to turn your network devices back on, otherwise you're not going to be able to get back on the internet. So just go back, type in network connections, and then click on the link there, and then just right click on each device and enable it again so that you can get back online. So we're nearly there, this is the last step. So if you've got NVIDIA graphics card, you want to open GeForce Experience, um, and then it will prompt you to sign in, and then just sign in with your NVIDIA account, and then you're back to normal. If you've got a Radeon graphics card, you don't actually need to sign in, just open up Radeon software just to make sure you've opened it once and got it all set up. So that's it, you're done. That's the proper way to use DDU to install your drivers. So hopefully that's helped. Hopefully it was nice and clear. If you've got any feedback, please leave it in the comments. Um, of course, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff as well. But I'm glad I could help you with this one today. And I wish you all the best. Catch you later.